Hello, welcome to my channel. This video is a short video on how to create a database in MySQL. So you will need a local SQL server already running and you will need the MySQL client installed. Oops, sorry about that. You'll need the MySQL client installed and working. So to start out, we will log in as root. So once you've ent entered the password, you'll be greeted by the MySQL login screen. And we'll start with the create database command. So I have my notes here so you can re read those as we go. So I won't be actually typing them. I'm just going to copy them in just to try to keep this video as short as possible. So we'll start out with the create database addresses. And you'll see you've, you've got, you know, when you've successfully typed that command, you get a response saying there's one row affected and then it's okay. And then the next thing we want to do is we want to select that database for use and you'll see the database has been changed so now we want to add a table to that uh, to that database and we'll be using the create table uh, commit SQL command we're gonna call it address and you'll see we have a couple of columns we have address ID which is an integer and it's going to be unique so each one has to be different because we'll use that as a key later on we have a thing called street name with var char so that's a string of characters up to 100 long. We have a street number as, as an integer, a city as a var char, and a state as a var char. So this is not an ideal table setup, but we're just going to be using it for a sample. So I paste that command in, and you could and you can just type it. I will try to have show notes somewhere that uh, that have these instructions. And once you when you su successfully create it, you'll notice it says zero rows affected. It was still it was still created. So um, and later on we'll we'll show you how to check the table. Now we're going to add some data. So we're going to use the insert into command. Um, so the insert command with the into uh, verb I guess, and use the table name and then the values. So we have three sets of values and they correspond with each column. So you see this is the first set of d values with the address ID of one the street name of Main Street, the street number of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and Newtown as the city, and for the state we have California. So you'll see I have three three rows with the same number of columns each, and that's really important. Um, you can insert just the street name, but you need a specifier for that. So we're just doing bulk insert uh, for, to every column. So I'm just going to paste that in and hit enter and you can see that three rows were affected and with three records. Now to check to see if that was uh, entered correctly, we're gonna do the select star from address. So using the select command, the star means select everything and from address means from the table we just created named address. And you see all the, all the rows are returned and they're in their correct positions. The final thing we're gonna, the next thing we're gonna do is to create a user to access this because when we're in, um, you know, I'm gonna be using this database with a LibreOffice ba LibreOffice base. Um, you don't wanna be logging in as root from LibreOffice. So we're gonna create a user called LibreOffice and it's gonna be a local host. An important thing to notice, note is that the user identifier here is both the name and the host. Uh, if I have a different host listed here, that's a different user. So that's a very important distinction that you need to um, remember when creating users. Um, okay, so I had previously created this user and that's why I'm getting an error. So I'm gonna delete that user. I'm gonna pause the video, delete the user and we'll re-execute that command so it's listed. Okay, so I dropped that user. So now we'll re reissue the command. Uh, sorry, so I dropped the LibreOffice user. So um, at the data definition level or at the uh, database and user level, you're going to use the uh, drop command a lot. Delete is going to be for, um, is for record level. So that's our create the user. And you see you get the query OK. And again, zero rows affected. Um, that's confusing at first because you always expect it to be one row. But it's going to be for these user commands, it's always going to be zero. So now I'm going to do the grant all. So this command gives permission, all the permissions, to uh, to start out star to LibreOffice at localhost, and I don't really want to do that. I, we're going to change that to. So I'm going to update these notes 
and it's going to be to addresses. So that's the name of the database, and then star is everything in that database. So we'll change this to addresses. So the format for this, the all on is uh, database and then tables. So you can see again, uh, the query was okay and zero is affected, and that means it, it worked. So what we're going to do now is we're going to exit the MySQL client and test it by logging in. So I'm going to log in as LibreOffice. And the password is a good password, which that is not. Okay, so that first time I, I typed it wrong, I did it again, and I got in. So now we're going to test the access to the database as use addresses and the database has changed now we can check that we're restricted by typing use let's we'll say use mysql which is the system database and you see i've got access denied which is what we want so now we can test so with the use addresses we can test the, the user by doing a select so we want to test that we can retrieve from that table which is and paste and we've gotten our records back and that's it. So I hope you found this useful. Uh, this video is intended as a um, adjunct for my LibreOffice video on how to create a database. And, but if you find it useful on its own, I'm, I'm happy and make sure you subscribe to Life on Linux. Thanks.